All right, so today I'm gonna to review the Tusk hand mitts. So this is a product that I've been using for um, at least about a year now. So um, I had gone out riding before and I usually use these kind of gloves, regular riding gloves. And of course, you know, when you're on your trail riding, I mean, in the winter, it gets cold. You know, and then, so I was looking for something that would warm up um, or be able to keep my hands warm without having to go to winter gloves because I used winter gloves too before and obviously they you know when you put these thick winter gloves on like ski gloves I mean they're hard to use because you're, you're you don't have as much flexibility because you have so much padding so I want to use my regular summer gloves these are my summer gloves and you know I mean I can put winter gloves on when I stop but when I'm riding I mean it's more easier for me to have the flexibility of using just the regular old gloves so I looked around to see what the options were. Now there are things like heated hand grips. Um, that's fine. Heated hand grips, I have not tried them so I can't say whether they would be good or bad. I don't know how they work as far as or how they would work so I haven't used them. My own opinion of them was one thing was that um, for one it needs a battery. Two, um, as you can see, uh, once you put them on you can't really switch them between bikes, okay? I have more than one bike. And so to then have to take off the hand grip and switch it around means I actually have to buy you know, 10 pairs of them to put on every single bike. And then I have to worry about making sure the battery's there. And second thing is that it's gonna warm up this, right? So if you have a regular glove on, you're still gonna get the wind chill factor on your hand. And that's what's really gets you cold, is that wind chill factor. Now I'm sure it, it works out, you know, a lot better than what I'm thinking, but for me, I was like, okay, I didn't really want to go that route. Um, so then I looked at um, <clears throat> these kind of things. And at first I had found a lot of them that were like, they would cover the whole front of the bike here and go all the way up your arms, more for like street bike riding. And then that, didn't really seem too flexible for me because I mean, if I have a jacket on already, I really don't need them going up all of my arms. And those things are expensive too, they're like 50 bucks. And so, plus the hassle of, you have less flexibility. You can't really get off the bike that easy because your hands are stuck in these things. And then I had found these. And these are Tusk hand mitts. And these, well, the first benefit is I can put them on any bike in five seconds, right? I mean, <clears throat> they just slide right on to the, to the end of the, the hand grip here, or the end of the, end of the handlebar, they slide right on, and you just pull this thing here tight. That's it, and they stay on, see? And it's flexible. These are metal in here, so you can bend them outward. I mean, they come closed, but they, they're metal in there, so they bend outward, so you can flex them outward so they're open, and then you just put your hand in. And there is some padding in there. And you can still reach all your controls. Just fine. And not only that, but if you're sitting there and you want to take off your gloves, just look, your gloves will just sit right in there. You just put them in there. You don't have to put them on the bike or anything. So if you take off your gloves and put on other gloves while you're sitting there or you want to take them off, you can set stuff inside there. Um, <clears throat> now, these kept my hands really warm because this thing is pretty good at deflecting all of the wind. So I have no wind <clears throat> coming onto my hands. So as this stuff warms up in here, and this is cotton in there, it just warms up and it stays warm. And none of the wind gets inside. So you're, you're removing the wind factor. Um, you could couple it with, I mean, heated grips or even the um, hand warmers. Those um, hand warm pouches that people use for skiing or holding in their hand, you could tape one in here or something like that and then just warm your hand up in there with, with that thing. So, um, but, uh, and then these things are cheap too. So these are $16. <laughs> you know, they were the cheapest option that I could find. Um, so if, at least at Rocky Mountain ATV, they were $16. Um, other sites, I think they have been a little more expensive, but, $16 isn't bad uh, for what you get out of these things. And so, as you can see, I mean, they're pretty roomy and they open up here. And like I said, you just tie this down tight as you want there. It stays on, it doesn't really come off that easily. And you know, maybe your main thing in here is the wind. 
You know, it keeps the wind off your hands. It keeps your hands warm. So definitely um, I recommend it, you know. And uh, so, yeah, and like I said, I'm not selling these or anything like that. So um, you can just go to Rocky Mountain ATV or find it somewhere else and buy it if, if you're interested in buying these things. So, um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> this would be... Uh, one of my recommendations as far as if you're looking for something that will keep your hands warm uh, in the winter. Um, I've even written it when it was snowing out and uh, my hands stay perfectly warm. So, and <clears throat> I mean, even if you want to get the um, heated grips, like I said, the heated grips do not um, uh, keep the wind off of your hands. So you couple it with this and the heated grips, I mean, you'll be completely toasty, you know? So, but uh, yeah, like I said, the main benefit for me was um, with these is how quickly I can just take them off and put them on another bike. I don't need to buy 10 pairs of these things. You know, so if you have multiple bikes, this is a good option. If you have one bike even, again, you can get the heated grips with this, or like I said before, you can even just buy the, uh, the hand warmers that you get uh, for, for winter time and tape one in here, you know, and then it should warm up and you can even put your hand in there while you're waiting to ride.